guys. It's been a while since my last video and since I damn near did a whole bunch of recreational maintenance I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. So the old F-250 has had what I've thought has been a rear main oil leak for a couple months now. Ordered up the rear main, ordered up the tool, put it in the garage, Got it all prepped, got ready to pull the transfer case, the drive shaft, the transmission. We all know that the rear main on these is a pain in the ass, but I was ready to do it. Thank God I started looking around. So if you have what you think is a rear main oil leak on a 6.4 power stroke, pay attention. Alright, so <clears throat> get underneath here. Bottom of the transmission's wet. Open that inspection hole right there. And there's not what you would expect to see on the inside of there. Which would be a crap ton of oil coming out. So these have a two-piece oil pan on them. Upper and a lower. You're looking at mostly the lower right now. And I thought, well, hell. Maybe I got a... Uh, oil pan going out oil pan gasket going out but if you look right here just the back half of the motor's all wet run half is semi sour to dry and you can really see it right there if you look past that line it's dry on the side of the block but only the back half of the block is wet and it's wet all the way up there now, if it was leaking oil off the oil pan, I failed to believe that it would blow it all the way up there, right? Not impossible, but highly unlikely, right? <clears throat> so, he got oil down here, down the back of the block. And, of course, once it gets down here, it blows backwards. If you'll notice, brand new turbo brand new turbo the high pressure turbo on this locked up i replaced them both <clears throat> little did i know let me see if i can get the mirror just right you guys may or may not be able to see this and i'll show you what it looks like if i can get to it to where you can see it so just like that you can see and i'll show you the the part when we get in the garage but there's the low pressure oil drain or low pressure turbo oil drain and it's in about the same place over here on the high pressure one and I'll show you both so essentially what I did I got up here this is your oil supply for low side and the high side for both turbos check the outlet where it comes in here check the fittings on the high pressure and the low pressure no leaks so what i did when i replaced these turbos is instead of setting the turbo straight down on it because i did it with the cab on instead of setting the turbo straight down on it i had to have had it cocked ever so slightly and i took that metal core rubber encased drain and I scraped right down the back side of it. So it tore that rubber. And now with the engine running, it drains oil down the back of the drain. Onto the turbo pedestal. Straight back down the motor on both sides. So, <clears throat> if you're having the same problem as me. And you think you have a rear main leak. Come check these first. Because that low pressure one is rubber. It's literally just it looks like a pipe nipple one side slides down in the the bottom and they are directional you can only put it in there or you're supposed to only put it in there one way i can't remember off the top of my head which way it goes but <clears throat> it slides down in there the tube over here for the high pressure one that feed from the engine to the high pressure or the drain from the high pressure back down to the crankcase. I'll show you that in the garage too. I'll show you both the old ones. When you think you have the same problem that I do, or when you have the same problem that I do, check 
here down where it feeds out at the base of the oil filter this feeds oil to the low and high pressure check the connections there check the connections there and then start the truck well start the truck when you're checking all these connections but look for oil coming down that drain and down this drain so let's go in the garage and i'll show you what i'm talking about so we're going to use the top of my deep freeze as an impromptu workbench here. So this is the low pressure drain. So this side goes on the pedestal side. Or wait, I might have that backwards. So you'll have to check. And I'll, if I find it, I'll have to check my workshop manual. But I want to say that it's this way down into the pedestal and then this the turbo goes down over the top of this i know it looks different uh, it looks bass backwards from what you would think it would be but i think i made that mental note that it goes opposite of the way it looks like it should but you have the the metal core turn the light on so you guys can see you have the metal core in there and then it's just a rubber uh, hard rubber sealing surface so that's the low pressure one and then this is the high pressure one so <clears throat> it fits down into the pedestal that that end this end goes to the pedestal and this end goes into the turbo so something else to note a bolt does not go here it has to be able to flex but anyway that's you're gonna you'd be looking at it like this if it was on the truck from the driver's side you'd be looking for leaks down here so and then this one i can see it leaking down the back side but check those if uh, you're having the same problem I am. <laughs>